Hey, welcome to another BSA video. I'm Jason and we're gonna be looking at some camera stuff. Good old B&H. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look what's inside. Boy, this is the Be Free GT. I was looking at a handful of different tripods, trying to figure out which one I wanted. But when I saw that man Frodo right now, I think uh, for another month or so, was also giving away the Gorilla Pod. I was like, I've got to get it because this is exactly what I've been looking at: is upgrading the Gorilla Pod. This guy holds up to 11 pounds. I've had a older Joby here for quite some time, but this will not hold Canon 5D Mark IV in which I use for all my videos. This here, 68 bucks from B&H. But one thing I noticed, uh, cause it almost got me, it didn't come with a head. So, I had to buy the 5K head separate. Not a big deal, at least I got this for free. I looked at a lot of tripods online, watched as many videos as I can, but one thing I thought was interesting is the Be Free GT, I really couldn't find a good video on. I, I figure I do a bit of unboxing and, and talk about it. There's plenty of videos on the Be Free. The big takeaway from this, almost 17 inches, fully closed, holds 22 pounds, and it weighs only four pounds. Yeah, this is aluminum. For just over 200 bucks, I thought it was a, a steal, where if you go the same payload, and the same clothes length and reduce the weight by, well, it's close to two pounds if you get the uh, carbon fiber, but you'll increase by around $200. So <laughs> I went for the aluminum. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, that is a nice bag. All right, so I'm setting this up and I'm looking at uh, what they call their Q plate. Everything I read said it's Arca Swiss compatible, RC2. Looks like it works great. Push it down here, snaps in, nice and tight. Grabbed my Peak Design plate. Big fan of Peak Design. The idea with this plate goes in the bottom of the camera. This is for their camera strap system. One of the best I've seen, this little plate slides into a, another belt uh, backpack clip they sell, they call it the Capture. I like it a lot because I put it on a, a backpack strap and then I just put the camera right here. I just, I just strap it down and it locks and it's a great place to hold the camera. So what I didn't have on this is the little bits and pieces it comes with and this is a kit it comes with. It says only for Manfrotto RC2 tripod users. But I got terrible news. It doesn't fit. I put it on here. It's it's there's no way I put my camera here. It's loose. So I don't I don't I mean obviously I really like the tripod, the price, the weight, uh, the length, but this doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to go get on to Peak Design's website and see if this was changed here recently, but Man, this was, this was a big reason why I bought this tripod. Be able to get my Peak Design bottom on there. Here is the Manfrotto one, and that, that fits great. But, so anyways, I guess to be continued, how to get the Peak Design on top of this. A few of the features with the uh, Be Free GT is that this has the, the bigger ball head, really can handle the weight. These new Manfrotto's have got this thread here, so you can buy their accessory arm and mount the microphone, a light, a monitor. They sell the Be Free with two different leg locking designs. The GT comes with this M lock. The other Be Free's have the lever lock. Just a quick twist and it's running. Matter of fact, you can probably just grab all of them. Yeah, and then just, and then just uh, crank them down like this. That's pretty nice. Loosen. And then you can just, I think I loosened too much. You just crank it all down together. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty nice bag. It's got some good padding. I'll put it to the test, see how well it holds up as I strap it to the bike. Paperwork came with this little tool. 
So we can tighten up the collar here, tighten up the uh, ball plate here, and a few of the knobs, ball head obviously, loose and tighten. This guy does a little bit of a adjustment tension so we can really, you know, we can really slow it down or we can get it a little stiffer. Uh, this guy here will allow me to do a nice smooth, smooth pan. It will uh, unscrew. That's a 3 8 not the quarter. Here's your collar, be smooth. Pull the bottom out and then you can uh, go underneath. So that'd be pretty cool for any kind of unboxing video or super low angle. You can put your camera all the way down to the ground. Nice rubber grip here. I would assume aluminum gets pretty cold in the winter. It's got a little lever lock so that goes like this. Yeah. I think one thing you gotta watch is this ball head. Probably something like this. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you make that go, you make that go up in the air. That's what it is. Yeah, you can see, uh, to really get this thing to fit nice and snug, you've gotta find a, a sweet spot. Ah, there we go. So you gotta find that, that sweet spot. Then all the legs fit real, real nice and tight together. That yeah, feels good. So I'm about 5'10 with, uh, with shoes on. Maybe just a smidge under 5'10. But anyways, uh, I wanted to open this up to show you the full height. So one, two, three, four, four sections. That feels good. And like I said, uh, you know, I can definitely get the camera plenty high enough because that was a concern of mine, making sure that it got high enough. That's pretty good. That's probably at its uh, sturdiest. So I got my tripod, nice and small, packed up in this very convenient bag. Perfectly fits right on the box or even in the box. And that's exactly why I bought it. Great for the bike. Heck, I could even strap it here. Perfect. Okay, let's also look at the upgraded Joby. This guy here is just so loose over the years. The second I put something heavy on it, it just it just starts heading towards the ground. It's it's pretty terrible. Paperwork. Packing. Oh yeah, that feels pretty nice. You gotta take out a little plug so that fits in there. Or you can take that out. <laughs> well, that's rather confusing. I think I'd want it bigger, right? Want you want it bigger? I think I want it bigger. Yeah, so it looks like it has a, uh, a collar, so this could be 3 8 uh, where you put the collar and then it's a quarter. Or you can take the collar off here and it can be a quarter or 3 8 But, I don't know, I think I'd like to stay bigger. Bigger to me seems like it's stronger. Should be. Tighten. Feels nice and tight. Ooh, that's a nice rotate. 
see, that's one thing this didn't have. It was just one single knob. This, this has two knobs. So you can roll it smooth, yeah. And then this one's for the ball. Curious about is this is supposed to also be an Arca Swiss plate. Hey, that fits. See, that's what I'm talking about. That goes in. So then I can go right from my Peak Design to the Joby. I mean, that that is awesome. That is that's what I'm talking about. That wraps up my comprehensive unboxing review of the Manfrotto B-Free GT, as well as the Joby here. Big win with it, being I can stick my Peak Design on it, and man, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I was really wanting to stick my Peak Design on here, so. I'll see you guys next time with some more bike stuff. Please subscribe.